I'm going to add a wireless remote to this AC hoist as well as this DC winch. This modification will void the warranty and anything you do is your own responsibility. This is the inside of the handheld control unit. The switch looks like it's a double pull, double throw. But let's test it. Just another angle. I pulled all the wires off the switch and I'm using a multimeter to verify the type of switch. It's a momentary double pull, double throw. Okay, so I know what I need now. I need a wireless remote that has two buttons, up and down. It needs to replicate a momentary double pull, double throw switch, and it needs to handle 220 volts AC at five amps. Because there's a capacitor there, the capacitor will kick up the voltage. Okay, so I can't find all my requirements in one simple package. So what I ended up getting was a wireless remote switch, which is 12 volts. I can get a transformer for that. It's two channels, two relays, single pull, single throws. I can fix that with additional relays. But the most important thing is that it has a remote unit with two buttons, up and down. I found these two relays. They are double pull, double throw. They have an LED indicator. They can handle up to 10 amps, 250 volts, and 12 volt is what I'm going to need for the coil. I'm going to use one of these power supplies instead of a power transformer. That way I won't occupy an additional socket. I'll take the power right off the hoist. I pulled off one connector at a time, added an additional wire, a new connector, crimped it, and soldered it. Note that I marked the capacitor to correspond to the switch location. Capacitors can be very dangerous. If you are unfamiliar with them, please do some research on them first. I wrote all the detail I could about the handheld unit and how it's wired. Drilled a hole in the back of the unit to run the wires. Added a grommet and closed up the case. Used a split convoluted tube to keep the wiring neat. Added some zip ties. All the items arrived, now I have to do some testing. Used the multimeter to verify each connector. Mapped out each connection for the wireless unit. Created a diagram of how the receiver, relay A, and the power supply would interface with one another. Double check everything and check it again. I then used my map to wire everything up. Initially I was going to use 120 volts off the handheld unit because I tapped all those wires, but I couldn't because of the capacitor. The voltage is much higher than 120. So I grabbed the 120 off the hoist body. The black is hot and the red is neutral. It's encased in the white covering. Drilled the hole, used the grommet, and used the convoluted tube to make all the wires neat. Secured all the components to the mounting plate for the hoist. I can't get the heat shrink tubing with the solder to work consistently. So I always solder them first and I just use that as a heat shrink tube. I'm not a fan of the steel cable for hoists or winches. Uh, so I picked up this 1 8 inch Kevlar cord with polyester jacket and it has a brake strength of 825 pounds which is more than enough for what I need. And this is the finished unit. I ended up buying four different wireless control units. There was either an intermittent loss of signal at close distances or there was a one second delay in responding. I ended up accepting the intermittent signal loss. Now let's add a wireless unit to this DC winch. It's a DC motor. It will be easier since reversing polarity causes a DC motor to reverse. Whereas an AC motor requires more 
of a wiring change to reverse the motor. And just a note about the differences between a hoist and a winch. A hoist has a locking mechanism that holds the load when it stops, unlike a winch. Also take into consideration powering a DC unit in an AC environment or an AC unit in a DC environment. When we open the back of the handheld unit, we see three wires connected to a single pull double throw switch. The red wire is positive. When it contacts the black wire, the winch will spool in or up. And when it contacts the blue-green wire, the winch spools out or down. The connector has five pins. For my winch, one is dead and the other one is negative. The manufacturer adds negative, so if you wanted to replace the handheld unit with a wireless remote sold by Harbor Freight, you can. This is the wiring diagram. One of the wires is a shade of blue-green, so I just call it green since there are no other blue or green wires. As I said before, I tried a few different wireless remotes. They all come down to personal preference. I could have used the same one, but for this project I prefer to have a larger handheld unit. So when I drop it in the leaves or in the grass, I can find it easier. Since this is a DC and a single pull double throw, no transformer or additional relays are needed. I tapped the four wires that went to the handheld remote harness and connected them to the wireless remote unit. Just another angle. And we are done. I decided not to replace the steel cable in this project because I never have to handle it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.